Welcome back everyone, it's the Depressed Eeyore, and this is James the Sephiroth Extra. It's time for more quests. Um, off screen I did fight that stupid robot again, that was pretty much luck based, and it still is, but I got two more of those Super Ajas, and we revealed a bunch more quests. I went um, I attempted to record this before, but I was failing miserably due to frame rate and other bad stuff, so I'm just starting over. I haven't finished this quest yet. Um, Diamond is undroppable. While organizing some old playing cards, mechanical yokai flew out from within the cards, requesting someone who knows how to put it back inside, Rinazuki. So this is in Corindo, just like all the others. And I'm believing the card game is supposed to be Yu-Gi-Oh, because Yu-Gi-Oh does have a monster called the Cyber Dragon. But um, anyway, the party I have is... Um, my first attempt, I tried doing casters, but it just doesn't work for me. So I'm doing Lithos, Nidoray, Sene, Byakuren, Aya, and uh, Yomu as commander. Uh, the main thing you need to make sure is whoever you're going to use for your status effect, um, you need to have them with as much induction as possible, which that's going to be Byakuren. So um, Aya is just here just to block, uh, reflect uh, breath attacks, and then the rest is just going to be buffing and attacking. So let's do this and hope it works a lot better. This time I'm not rendering, so it shouldn't lag any. any. I definitely need to do this quest a lot, because I need diamonds for the special materials and stuff like that. Alright, first things first, I'm going to go ahead and do half phantom attack right off the bat, and see if I can get an early uh, hit with it. Um, I don't really have much induction with lithos, but I'm going to try anyway. Um, I'm going to also go ahead and chip my bullets for uh, water, and for you, just buff everyone's attack. You can do Dark Galaxian. Yeah, Galaxian. Had to make sure I was pronouncing it correctly. And then for everyone. Oh wow, my commander bomb missed. Oh great, now Sam Cyber Barrier. So, Menade missed. This didn't. Zero damage, and it didn't petrify. This thing has a 95 resistance, give or take, so we'll see how it goes. Um, for right now though, go ahead and attack. All my stuff is buffed. Occasionally nullifies attacks. I'm going to go ahead and use Hydro Camouflage, just to negate their f that stupid field effect. And evasion up. Go ahead and buff up. Oh, I don't need to buff anyone up. So, Hyper Trigger on Yakra. Actually, no. Water Enchant on Lithos. And you just keep doing favorable land. Camouflage. There we go. All that does is give a small chance to um, prevent damage. Can be useful. Alright. Now we can go all out. Go ahead and heal Nettery. Let's see, we need to do Hyper Trigger on Biakaran. And you go ahead and keep doing Favorable Wind. The reason I keep doing Favorable Wind is this thing actually has a breath attack and it's very nasty. And it's holy damage. There we go, heal you back up. Destruction Beam, zero damage. It did zero damage because of the uh, Camouflage ability. Defenses. We're gonna try. Oops. Half phantom attack again. Do that attack. Attack normally. Defense up. Dark Galaxian. Supposed to have a chance to do a petrify. Let's see how it goes. Okay, it worked this time. So it's half resistance. I also have induction up. And it still doesn't work. They say this thing's vulnerable to petrify, but I'm finding that doubtful. Nothing else I can really buff at the moment. I can hyper trigger lithos, I guess. Oh, you overlocked my ability. That's annoying. And 
water wore off, and we're not doing that much damage. <laughs> Camouflage. Keep attacking. You can do in water on Nettery. And you keep just blocking. Okay. Well, I'll keep trying, but I'm, I don't think this is, the wiki could be mistaken, because I can't get my induction any higher. There's just no way. And my induction is pretty damn high at this point. Just up. No, don't do that. Dark Galaxian. Resistance down, so that means it only has like 40 or 50 uh, resistance at the moment. Yeah, I can't petrify it. Which is making this a very, very long fight. I'll try power down while I'm waiting for my cooldown. But yeah, in theory you're supposed to be able to just petrify this thing and then you can just kill it. Hey, I can develop. Okay, but why that worked and not everything else, I'm kind of confused. Alright, it's in water war off. Buffer wants attack. And this thing has yet to use his breath weapon. field effect right now. Yeah, it's gonna wear off in two turns anyway. Oh wow, um, if you get dazed, you can't do chasers. Alright, I'm apparently missing something, so let me be right back. It's the enemy, it's the enemy I got, so I don't know what uh, could be going wrong. Here, I'm just gonna do main aid while I wait. Oh well. Why does that work? I don't, whatever. So, the thing is permanently uh, petrified, it does not wear off. So we win this fight. So what I'm gonna do is just kill it. So I got nothing to worry about now.
just gonna use less of my bombs and then I'm just gonna auto attack. Got any bombs left? Nope. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off here, and when we come back I'll be ready for the uh, next quest. And we finished. That took a while. Whoa, frame rate. Leveled up, leveled up, leveled up, leveled up. Diamond. And we got ourselves another diamond. Yay. And, ah, uh, frame rate. Wow. Should be able to get... Not that. Not that. There's magic. Reduce physical damage reduction by 30%. Or we can wait until I get the Milky Way stuff, which... Uses Devil's Hearts, so never mind, I don't have to worry about that. Cool. So, Sun Curtain, reduce physical damage, sure, we'll take it. And if I can upgrade it later, even better. Yeah, sorry for the frame rate, everyone. That's what I get for rendering during the uh, random encounter. <laughs> and once again, it's back to Super Aja. Alright, uh, be right back. I'm just going to cut it off here, and uh, but I'll keep it all as one video once I start another quest. So, be right back. It's really too bad that there's no quest to farm uh, elemental shards. That would make my life a little bit easier. Anywho, let's go ahead and move on to the next quest. Um, I went ahead and just did one of the, um, I did the quest where you had to kill the three slab things, just so I didn't have to fight that stupid robot again. Um, I did uh, ask on the forums and look up some stuff and found out that um, the uh, Super Aja, or uh, Aja, or whatever it's called, um, is used, it's pretty much the special material for the ultimate items for each character. So, it might be useful for maybe the armor, but I don't know if I'm going to be making too many of the weapons. But so far I have four, so well, hopefully that's good enough for now. Um, also, in, later on, some of these monsters may be random encounters, so we can farm them that way too. Let's go ahead and move on to this carnivorous plant. It's uh, seven. It's the, the only other 7-star we haven't done, I believe. Yeah. Let's see, uh, carnivorous a certain carnivorous plant, man-eater. I was raising a plant in the attic and it became really big. It, I would like it to be thrown away somewhere. So, off we go. Alright, we need to change our group. Let's go ahead and visit this real quick. Alright, let's go... We want... Moko. Sakia. Yomu. Now I'm thinking... Sane Byakuren. And then Aya. There's a bunch of ways you can kind of do this fight, so it's not... We, got some, we definitely have some options available to us. What's your growth set at? Got the cooldown. Alright, that's good enough. Water guard armor, that's fine. What I would like, though, is to take your awakened soul away. And go with awakened soul.
I'm trying to see what else I got. Try dropping it. Nah, I'm not gonna worry about induction. Grab its paw, stopwatch. I'll go ahead and take that. Being able to boost his attack power will be, or her attack power rather, should make this a little bit easier. I think we have more than enough bombs. Wouldn't mind upgrading to a better set of gloves, but we'll... I'll take a look at the shop then. And as for our formation... Kampaku sword formation should be good enough. This fight can be a little bit luck-based, um, but I'm not too concerned about it. First, let's see what we got for weapons. I think right now we're using what, the invincible glove? No, we're using one shot punch, which ignores shields. Not bad. Exorcism death. Special against undead and yokai. Nah, not too big deal. Alright. Oh, hello. So this is the boss. The God Eater. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, Paparazzi. Fujiyama Volcano. Private Square. Sora Stance. Attack. Ah, I forgot. Always forget. One moment. Luckily, we're faster, so we can just run away. This is all from the uh, fight I did against the uh, robot a while back. I say a while back, even though this is technically the same video. That should be good. That's really... well... What we also can do... Let's get rid of... Un and get, is use unresist, but... Let's try this again. Whoa, what happened to my frame rate? Give me one moment. Sorry about that. Paparazzi. Fujiyama Volcano. Private Square. Asura, Asura Stance. Attack up. And... Fire Enchant on Sakya. This thing is vulnerable to fire and... Um, Slash. So we're gonna have both. Now notice that um, Moko is successful in burning the in the uh, the boss. You can actually, uh, if you're lucky enough, uh, you can probably if you can keep burning the boss, uh, you can just kill it that way. Six of damage. This thing has quite a bit of HP, just like all the other bosses. Probably about 200,000, give or take. Okay, time stop off. Fujiyama Volcano, Full Moon. Twenty-four thousand damage, wow. And we burned it, so it's not gonna hack this turn. Supposedly. Uh, th this boss really only has two things. It attacks physically, and then it can buff its attack by a lot. So on turns that you fail to, like, you know, stop it from attacking, you hope, you generally hope that it's just gonna sp waste a turn buffing itself. Defense. 
Well, lower its resistance, possibly. There we go. About 30,000 damage. Another 11,000. Alright, we lowered his resistance, so hopefully that'll make sure we get uh, multiple burn effects. I think we're good to go. Go ahead and do Hyper Trigger on Moko. Oh! Didn't burn it this time. Reduction up, last word up. Six hits. Tentacle for 11,000 damage. 1100 damage. And it attacked twice. Oh boy. Well, that's wonderful. Let's see if we can survive this anyway. Actually, we can't survive this because I used a uh, elegant killing doll. So wonderful. Let's retry this. So when I can actually get out of this area. Well, it was a little annoying. The all of a sudden just get hit with a uh, tentacle. As you can see, it did 11, 000, 1100 damage without even buff with even without it buffing. So yeah, as I mentioned before, it's kind of luck-based. I don't want to suck this out, I want to fight this thing. Alright, let's try this again. I'm going to go ahead and do... nothing. Fujiyama Volcano. Full Moon Revenge, buff. Fence up, I guess. And I'm gonna go ahead and use Weapon Bless on Moko. Burn, okay. If, if it weren't for the fact that it targeted Moko first, it, we probably could have pulled through that. Now, i revenge. Attack up now. It shouldn't overlap, hopefully. Let's go attack down. Ah, neat. Oh, and we failed to burn it again. So now we're gonna get hit. Burned. Failed to unresist. Phoenix Resurrection. No, that can't do that. <laughs> Never mind. If I did that, uh, everyone would die. Thornbine instead. So we're not dead yet. Pretty close though. So induction up, unresist. Burned. Failed to unresist again. Once again, no, uh, no acid swarm. 
Okay, it didn't do tentacle. Not sure why, but I'm not going to question it. It obviously knows what it's doing. I'm pushing my luck here. I don't think I'll pull through. And I still can't get the unresist to work. And dead. Alright, run away. So yeah, Weapon Bless doesn't seem to make much of a difference as far as uh, stats are concerned. What we can do, though... Mm, actually, no we can't. Not without dropping my induction. Which, you know what, quite frankly that should matter because I've got to succeed in any of the uh, status effects. So we're just going to get Amplify Scroll, so we have another buff. Conveniently, there's at least a safe nearby. And dying doesn't really do anything in this place, because you just go back inside. Okay, let's do this again. Paparazzi. Front square. Star stance. Buffer one's attack. Fired suck in. Oh, sure, go ahead, you just burn that time. This thing's a plant type, so if you have Slayer against plant, that would help, but. I really don't have any slayers against plants. At least nothing that's particularly high damaging. I do have another idea I can try doing, but uh, that's going to have to kind of wait. Oops, gonna do tentacle again. Nope, weapon bless. And tentacle dance, which killed everybody. Wow, I double attacked and still didn't get uh, burn to go off. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> it knows leaf shield, too. Alright. Well, there is another solution. It's not gonna be pretty, though. be based off induction, so let's just swap these out. Oh yeah, we don't need the cockatrice crest, so I don't know why I have that equipped. So there you go, 162 induction. Let's see if that makes a difference. Okay, 11 bombs, let's do this. Good 
But you get the gist, it's really just all about exploiting a some certain weakness for a lot of these bosses. Sorry, a little bit concentration mode. Twenty thousand, nice. Vision up, all up, private square. Okay, about ten thousand there. Same amount. Okay, time stop wore off. Volcano, full moon revenge. Not much we can do now except attack. Private Square. And battle over. This will get us to, I think, Animantite. Leveled up. Animantite. Quest completed. Animantite. Alright, perfect. Wow, my fraps is just being misbehaving tonight. Oh well. So... The only one we haven't done is this one, which is a... I think it's like a samurai guy or something. So we'll try that guy eventually. But for right now, I'm going to go ahead and call this a video. I am the Depressed Eeyore, and this was Genius of Sephiroth Extra. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And we're just... I think we've just about done all of the side quests, almost. So, see you guys next time.